Hello everybody and what do Today we're going to look at Mew Aces Peach vs Smubs Ridley Now I was called on the scene to look at this because apparently this really right here he been big peach players He beat Mew Ace and he beat Ling Ling So I was told to find out what the heck going on out here So that's what we're going to do right now So let's uh, check this out D Damn, already started a match with the fair? Woo! Yo, who hurt this man? The person that sent him to losers? Mm, Alright. Oh! I already see a mistake. Alright. Gets him on stage, good. Gets a turn up. And then he moves here. Now, this is this is where you wanna be, obviously. Because, uh, as you saw, he's gonna grab the ledge. And when somebody's on the ledge, you have no idea how they're gonna get up. So if you stand right here, or a bit underneath the platform, uh, if they try to do anything aggressive off the ledge, you can react to it and punish accordingly. So yeah, especially he got a certain in his hand, so he's good. But he decides to go for this, which really just grabbed the ledge so he cannot immediately jump or get up right away unless he buffered it. But really sees him doing this, he's like, okay. And now he's gonna get ready to jump off the ledge and there. And as you can see here, I me mean, it has to go for another one. No good. And he just took 32% because of that. So yeah, when you got somebody on the ledge, always check how they're gonna get up. Be safe about it. Stand right where Ridley is, like in the center of the platform underneath it. And since he had a serpent in his hand, like he's good. He keeps um the stage control, get rid of the last trap and all that stuff, but he decided to play a guessing game and now really got back onto the stage for free when he should be having a hard time getting back onto the stage or center stage. Okay. There. Alright. No, good. Okay. Now, if he didn't jump right here, he probably would have hit him. And I think the reason he jumped because he thought he was going to get command grab, which in that case, he should have done what he did the first time, which was this. Pull back. He didn't pull back like a lot, but uh, he just weaved a little bit. So he, he should have did the same thing. So if he was afraid of getting command grab, he should have did that instead of jumping. Because now that he jumped and he saw something turn up down, the turn is gonna take a hard, uh, it's gonna take longer to to hit Ridley. Which in this case, he got the ledge too late. And look, with the turn, so he still has stage control. Cause he got him near the ledge, that's fine. But his advantage is not as strong because that turn up is gone. Also, when you touch Ridley's shield, make sure you're safe about it because these Ridley's, they will nair out of shield. It's like their their go-to button. They usually go nair out of shield. So you be safe on shield, they they nair, and you can punish them for it after you block it. But yeah, make sure you attack safe on shield, and then after you touch Ridley's shield, if you think he's gonna nair, most likely they will just block. But from the looks of it, I think he bear too high. I hit like that. I guess he buried a little bit too high because Ridley's Nair is, um, I think it's nine frames. Somebody can correct me. But last I checked, it was like nine frames or something. Plus the jump squat, which is a uh, 12 in total. So, uh, but yeah, you gotta be really safe on Ridley's shield. Okay, his out of shield option did really not good. Oh, there you go, being aggressive. And he got snatched. You see how, like, he, he's waiting? He's like, he, he's not, like, playing guessing games to see how Mew Ace is going to get on the ledge. He's just taking his time. He sees Mew Ace jump. He pulls back a little bit. And he sees him go for that. 
and get snatched. Also, you see the percent of me aces that? Always pay attention to your percent because your percent tells you what you should and should not be doing. If he hits Ridley, he's gonna get sent flying to the other side, but I don't think it'll kill him at 121. Because he's going to the other side of the map. But if he misses or gets called out, it's just snatch dead. See, let your percent tell you what you should and should not be doing. Well, what you shouldn't be doing. Okay, I don't think. Oh, okay. I think the bear is gonna connect. Mm. Mm. He he was a bit over over him. That wasn't gonna work like that. Okay. Nice. Good recovery. Called out the jump. Needs to be careful with jumping like that because this right here. So I really pulled back. He could have got like this could have been a nair right here by Ridley or something. I don't know, but either way, I feel like really could have punished, but he wasn't sure what Mute Ace was gonna do. But either way, you gotta be careful with doing that because he could have got got hit, got anti here. Which we need a ledge. Okay. Yeah. Caught him again. The second time he did that to, to me Ace. Like, he's here and he's just waiting for me Ace to do something off the ledge. He's not he's not guessing what he's gonna do. He's literally waiting. This is the second time Mew Ace got on the ledge. He just waited for Mew Ace to do something first, and then he gets snatched. The mute ace needs to be a bit calm. Yep, see, there you go. See, that's what I was talking about before. Man, when I said, like, um, when mute ace he jumped and he was over really and really was blocking, but I was like, yo, he needs to be careful because he could have got anti -aired. See, th this is why I said that. Because look here. The situation came up again and he was just ready. Boom. Oh, smash. Okay. This right here, guys, if you do this, don't stop. Don't don't do that. See how he's floating like that? And then he does it again? That, don't, don't do that. That gets you nothing. Because the opponent can just toss out something that has more range than what you have and then just hit you. In this case, really got fair, which is multi-hitting. He got bare. The freaking jump in there, like you're just gonna get hit out there. So floating like that, don't don't do that. Okay, that was safe pressure. See, there you go. See. So you space your attacks properly on shield, and the only thing really really gonna do is Nair, which is probably like his best out of shield option. But still, his out of shield options they're they're not that great. You space your attacks right, really cannot hit you. He can't punish you. He's too close to the ledge. Also, guys, don't do don't do this either. Don't don't block. Do do, do not block near the ledge. Like you ate it there. Don't don't block. Just pull away. Be a few feet away because again, really had a he had an option. He could just side beat. That's a command grab. Get snatched. But yeah, blocking when somebody's on the ledge, don't don't do that. There you go, safe pressure. There, there you go. Look, let's look at this again. This is how you want to touch really shield. He did a ground float bear. He noticed that really blocked. Now he blocked. See? Now he's starting there. Too slow. So yeah, whenever you touch really shield, just block. Because most likely they're gonna do this. He messed it up again, but either way, he got you. You get the idea. Wait, and when I say he messed it up again, I what I meant was right here.
Yeah, he messed up because he thought Riddick was gonna go behind him. So he did this. That's what I meant when he messed it up. Um, but yeah, he could have he could have nared, but he thought he was gonna go behind him, so he was like, like he's gonna touch my shields, he's probably gonna cross me up, so he was trying to get ready for that. But either way, you get the idea. Moving on. Mmm. Yeah, you you can't get any more. So like after after three hits, one, two, three, I would have jumped towards him and then just landed, or n not even just wait for him to to panic because he got hit with three up airs. So he's like, oh, he's gonna keep hitting me. He's gonna keep going for more. So I have to like either attack or air dodge, which that's exactly what he did here. So after like two to three hits, just wait. Don't do anything. Wait for stuff like this, and then you hit him. Yeah, you gotta be careful with doing that. Like right here, I would have, I would have um, probably went towards him with like a ground flow bear. Maybe that's what he was trying to do. So he probably messed that up. But yeah, see, he got hit. So be careful. Ooh, almost got snatched. Yeah, there, there's no need to do this. Like what he did here. He tossed the turnip up like that? Nah, don't do that. Just, again, hold on to the turnip. Like I said in my previous video, when you get somebody off the ledge, you can act like you're gonna toss it and then don't, but literally hold on to it. Because you wanna burn a resource, which in this case, side B. If Mew Ace would've waited for him to side B, he could've hit him out of it before he grabs the ledge. So, when you got a turn up, like, not just really in general against any character, when you got a turn up, let them get close, act like you're gonna toss it, and then don't do anything, and then see how they react. Most likely, you wanna burn a type of resource. In this matchup, you wanna burn side B. Either burn a few jumps or side B, but don't immediately toss it the the way Mute Ace did. Especially tossing it upward, because that's it's not gonna get you anything. Unless you know for a fact he's gonna land onto the stage, but majority of the times, this guy, he doesn't land onto the stage. He usually goes to the ledge. But, in certain cases, as you saw here, he tried to jump to fair. Boop! The turn up. So, it, it, it still worked out for him. Either way, you still want to hold on to the turn up. But this guy, I guess he forgot there was a turn up in the air. And he tried to jump. And he got hit. But yeah, you guys get the idea. too close again like right here that that's yeah don't don't, don't do that Yeah, always see how your opponent's gonna get up do not do not rush it because of that he got hit and now he's taking damage he's in a bad spot See, he, again, going for too much. Remember, touch really shield once, he should be blocking. Because as I said before, they're going to do things out of shield. Nair, well, in this case, he buried him. He tried to jump to fair. Wait, that, nah, that's too slow. And on top of that, really can move before you. No. Well, see, because of that, he got kicked. kicked again and again this really play he's waiting for him this is like a, another scenario i think this is three scenarios in a row where he got on on the ledge he's like waiting for him to do something and then the moment he does something get kicked oh get snatched from two one okay oh he got a stitch face okay i would be standing right here i wouldn't do anything let really do something first. If he gets up on the ledge, he does a regular get up. Let him get up. If he blocks, let him block. He can't block forever. He's gonna eventually have to drop the shield, and most likely out of shield, people tend to jump. So I, I would just wait for him to do something to get a guaranteed toss. So uh, let let's see what how many is gonna handle the situation. Is this 
gonna hit. He starts to turn up on his shield. And you're positive on shield. Where, with a turn up toss. So I'm wondering, will this hit? Yep. Nah, I, I figured. He had frame advantage. So Ridley, he... Most likely he was gonna like try to nair, but he can't. He, he got frame advantage. So that, that, that was good by the Mute Ace. Toss on his shield, and after that, again, people like to jump out of shield. He's like, nope. I got frame advantage on a stitch face, buddy. All right, moving on. Next game. Wait, hold on. Okay, let's see here. Damn, down tilt. There you go, block. They, oh, he went for too much. Let's see. Why didn't this work? If he would an instant dash attack. Oh, he was going for a grab. I, I saw the grab animation. But yeah, from here, if he would an instant dash attack. Boom. Boom. Instant dash attack. It would have hit really. So that that's something for you to guy for you guys to do in, in a situation like this. Like if you hit bear like this around these numbers, depending on the character, just instant dash attack. But instead he went for a dash grab, which is like ten frames. So as you can see, see, they go to grab. So he ran a little bit, which gave really time to recover, and then he did a dash grab, which is uh, ten frames. But I believe dash grab is ten. Yeah, too slow. Up there, up there. Look, yep. As I said, the the last video, one or two hits, and then after that, chill out, cause people think you're gonna go for more. Now we're just like, oh, well, you gonna try to come at me again? I'm in a crash spot. Time to air dodge. Ain't air dodge. So yeah, two to three hits. If the third hit is guaranteed, go for the third hit. After that, don't do anything. Let people, um. Mash out of hit stun with, with an attack or air dodge and then get him. So depending on character, they might just jump. If they got like multiple jumps or something. Or if their jump is safe. So just keep that in mind. Yeah, see, this is why I say don't don't block middle ledge. I I would have pulled back. Pull back be on the on the like right here. Right here on the on the path. Now, however, it's and he let go too early. Look, like he was trying to parry or something. I don't know. Looks weird. But anyway. Yeah, he blocked. He got grabbed. Okay, he angled it. The recovery. He tried to do something and got hit. Okay, good angle. Damn. Wait. Why did he up B like that? Let me see something. Is this jump gone? Hmm. I think he could have. I think he up B a bit too early. Yeah, see? Again. Right here. He tried to do something else. Again, don't. I'm not gonna go over this again, so we could just move on. But I just really wanna make sure it's drilled to your guys' heads. Touch the shield once, and that's it. You can't do anything else because the opponent can move before you, and depending on their out of shield options, they're gonna hit you before you can hit them. So don't, don't do this. Just block. The time where Mute Ace blocked, he got rewarded. And yeah, it's not gonna. Actually, he could have there. It was too slow. Okay, I'm surprised he checked that. Oh no, 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 no. I, I, I think I kind of get the idea. Okay, he grabbed the less twice. Right here, I would have been ready to either dare or um, space the force match, the golf club. Okay, it hits people on the ledge. Possibly down smash, which he did try to go for here, but he wasn't close. So he had the right idea, but either he wasn't close enough, or he did it too early. Like timing was off. Okay, good grab. 
Nice. Th thank you. This, this is what I'm talking about that he should have done the previous match. This right here. So what he did? He jumped to bait some type of reaction out of him, which in this case it was uh, an air dodge. And then he just landed. This is what you should be doing more when you got to turn up. So when somebody's recovering, do stuff like this or run off the map and then quickly jump on to burn some type of resource. And depending on what they do, you got that turn right there to punish them for it. And he's standing in a beautiful spot. This spot I'm talking about right here. This spot right here is good. You can react to anything. If he wants to side B, you can see it, move out the way. If he wants to jump to an attack, you can, uh, you won't get hit. If you got a turn up in your hand, you can punish him. Beautiful. You just stay right there. Yeah, you can't jump at really like that. That fair was ballsy, but it worked. Oh, he could... He could have got punished for that. The way he landed. Yeah, see, again, going for too much. It's not... You can't. Toss the shield once and chill out. Yeah, he's just waiting. Really standing in the perfect spot. Anything that Pete tries to do at that spot that really standing, he can react to and punish. Good. Yeah, he going for too much. Get snatched. Nice. He didn't push a button. He just drift away. A lot of people in that situation, like right here. They'll here they'll either try to jump or like mash an attack out of hit stuff he's like nope i'm just gonna pull away i'm not gonna panic air dodge i'm not gonna mash nothing pull away boom beautiful and get back up to the stage see that's a situation where people they'll, they'll like do something and then they'll get chained with fares against it like Nice. Wow. Surprise, none of those turn hit him. Wait, why is he in this situation? What happened? Yeah, blocking near the ledge. Again, we're gonna move on. I mentioned that too many times. Don't block near the ledge. That, that's bad. You get nothing out of it. You blocking near the ledge, you're making it easier for the opponent to get back onto the stage because your options are limited. And you try to do anything grounded while blocking, you got to wait uh, 11 frames. Yeah, again, he's being too aggro. On the ledge. Yeah, see, th this is beautiful what this uh, Ridley is doing. So, you can see he's standing in the in the right spot where he can space his attacks. Which, as you can see right now, Mew Ace is respecting. And if Mew Ace tries to go at him with anything aggressive, he can get ready for it. This is what you do in general with... Uh, you know, whatever character. Stand this optimal spot. This is how you keep the opponent on the ledge and good stage control. So in this case, if I'm in this situation, I would try to see how to get to center stage. I wouldn't really try to attack as much because I'm at 113 near the ledge and I don't want to get snatched. I don't want to get kicked. I don't want to get stabbed. Nothing. So I will just keep my defense up and try to see how the opponent tries to hit me. And then from there, if he leaves an opening, I take it like in terms of hitting him. If not, I see an opportunity where I just want to get center stage. I don't even care about hitting him at this point. I just want to get the heck out of this corner and get to the center of the stage. So see, and then he noticed that he, he likes to jump. Yeah, like he was jumping a few times in that situation and he got kicked. All right, moving on. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, his, his approach is right now. Like, this float stuff movement is okay. But he's trying to do nares and come at him with, like, other aerials. Again, really, he got... He got his nair and his fair. You, you can't do that. And you see right here? He tried to... I think he tried to do, like, a falling nair or something, and... Nope. So you can't... You can't go out really uh, like that with your aerials. Most likely stay grounded. Oh. Oh, don't want to be over him. Okay. All right. Nice. Okay. That that was good. That was good. He caught the turn up. Oh. Oh, okay. Nice conversion. That's pretty nice. All right. Uh, another thing to put on this matchup: do not attempt to do this. See how he tossed turn it down to to hit really? That's not gonna work. Cause look, it's will be easy to turn up. He's um his wings are like intangible, so basically you're not gonna reach his hurt box. Like those those wings just no, you you can't. I'm not even sure if this face can go through that. That's something I need to test, or if you guys want to test it out, you can test it out yourself. That way, that's something to know within this matchup. But yeah, tossing the turn up down on him, no, like don't don't waste your turn up because the up B is just gonna eat it. It's one of those up B's where you just cannot, and this is why I also say don't block near the ledge. He goes to the net near the ledge and then blocks. No, cause I said side B. I mentioned it earlier. Look, he got snatched and tossed. Okay, good catch on that by Ridley. Yep, jumping too much. Again, you, you don't want to be jumping like that. There was no need for him to do that. He could have just stood on the ground. But he's jumping, being in the air like that, and gets kicked. Yeah, see, going for too much. Said, touch the shield once. If anything. If anything. No, wait, that wasn't it. Where, what's the situation where it happened? So, yeah, touch the shield once, if anything, twice. So he did this. He did that. Just block. Block, or if you're afraid you're going to get grabbed, sidestep, roll. But don't go for more things like that. Cause that left him open. Granted, he probably jacked cause he look. See, there you go, side step. You know what I mean? But I think he jacked it cause he thought he was gonna grab. He was really close. And usually, when you're close to somebody, when you do an attack, they usually try to grab you. But yeah, it's the, the just don't 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 be too greedy with your stuff. Okay, that was good. Chat. All right. Caught the turn up. He needs to stop being in the air like that. See, good. He he nared. He he nared him and then he pulled away. He he did, which he could have blocked. Which again, he he should be blocking more. Because really, again, or players in general, when we touch the shield, they usually want to jump out of shield. This kid's really, they love Nair out of shield. But if you space your attacks on shield, really cannot punish you. That's too slow. He should have instant dash attack out of shield. Wait, he was shielded when he did that, right? Let me see. Was he? Yeah, that's an instant dash attack out of shield. Though. That most like, likely would hit him. Grab is too slow. He gets kicked. Okay, I kind of like how I like this. I like that he did down throw instead of bear because the bear is not really gonna kill at at this percent. 
And most likely, he's expecting to DI the bear. So instead, he goes for the down throw. Since he's center stage, which is good. Because now he's in the air, and he can, he can um, harass his landing. Which, he went for a fair, that is not going to work. He's He has too much percent. He's not going to get a fair for that. Okay. See how he does this? Mm, I'll prove that, because it's not going to hit. I don't think so. Nope. In this case, he could have Z-drop, less, uh, less trap, oh, less trap, less stroke. Could have done that. Yeah, Z-dropping, guys, you utilize Z-dropping. Utilize it, please, do it for me. All right? If you're not going to do it for yourselves, at least do it for me. It will make my day. D start Z-dropping. See, so, yeah, he could have, like, waited a bit, Z-dropped, and grabbed the ledge. So the turtle would have hit him off the ledge, probably get, like, a bear or a side beat. There's a lot. A lot of things you can do, but yeah, utilize the job. Pull away, okay. All right, got him. All right, here we go. Yeah, stop doing that. See, don't okay, guys, don't do this. Stop going in the air. I mean, we talked about this already, but look, see, don't don't go in the air. Stay grounded. Look, he got hit again. Eh? I, don't, 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 there's nothing you don't want to do. Not against this character. You saw how he ran towards him? And then he blocked? Do not do that. Do, do not do that. Uh, especially against this character, don't do that. Because there's times where you can get snatched. Now, he, he can snatch you for that. Like, if, if a player see that, they, they might snatch you. So, don't, don't block like that. See, he, he's in there. Look, see, then you get grabbed. See, he, he was good. He got really near the corner. And then he wants to jump and do this. Because now he has to land. And now really can get close to him. And probably start pressure, pressuring um, Mew Ace. Because see, now close the gap. And Mew Ace has to go in the air. So in this case, uh, the really play, he can move back. And like, see if he's gonna land again or come at him and get ready to punish. Or he could just go in an entire. See, he, he got out the corner for free. But look, again, this scenario here. He does this. He slowly follows Mute Ace. Mute Ace pulls back again. And now Mute Ace is in the corner. And he gets grabbed. Stop jumping. See? Again, the, the jump. There you go. See, now we out the corner. There we go. That's how you get out the corner. Take your time. And that's why I say, don't block near the ledge. It is not good. Especially against his character. You're going to get snatched. And tossed. Get him out of here. Oh, boy. Okay. He waited. All right, guys, I, I made a little mistake. I thought the set was over, so I shared my clothing thoughts, and I ended the video, and then I realized there's, there's one more game left. So it, this is one of the, the analysis where I'm going to have to edit it, and um, my clothing thoughts, I'll just edit the video and put it at the end. So yeah, I, I, your, your boy don't goof, but it, it's all right. We're going to get right back into the match. All right, so let's go. Let's see. Uh... Yep, we're good. And oh my god, what the heck? Why is he off the stage already? Yep, the jumping. The, jumping like that, he just went in there. And see, he's just waiting. Good, nice. That, that was good by me, Ace. Okay, see what he did here? That was beautiful. He's like, I'm gonna jump and lag. I know you're gonna wait for me to jump. I'm like, nope, and got him. Oh, he could have. Oh, he he did a, a tomahawk, basically, or just a empty jump. He just landed without doing anything, and that threw him off because I'm pretty sure he was expecting him to. Uh, yeah, he was expecting him to land with an aerial, so he can do something on a shield. And he just landed and then uh, did 
photo. So then I'll go. Okay. Jumping up, there you go. Alright, there. Yeah, he, he tried to go in and up air. Yeah, see? Like, no. No, 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 no. You have a turn up, stand a few feet away from the ledge, and then just pressure what he tries to do. And yeah, this is what I was saying earlier. Let your opponent burn resources. He gotta turn up, jump towards him, and then pull back. See what he does. Because the moment you go near somebody, I say this all the time in my videos, they think you're gonna do something aggressive. So pull away, and see, he jumps. Go to save that turn up and just wait it. You know, a better spot. Yeah, that's. You're not gonna fur that. Yes. Alright. No! He. Oh my god. That, that could have been bad for him. You gotta stop going for that. Don't toss the turnip right away. Stop going for these guessing games. You gotta bring this back, boy. Oh my god, Mr. Sadden. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, he bringing it back. No, he brought it back. All right, let's go. No, no, no. That's what I say. You gotta be careful, man. Hey, like when you need a ledge, he gotta turn up. You're too close. Stand a few feet away from the ledge. Because again, like I said, they have the option where they might try to snatch you off the ledge. I said it earlier. Is he drop? Oh, okay. Don't do anything aggressive. Oh, he tried to bear. Wait, why didn't that work? That was the start of the bear. Okay, I'm not sure how fast um, Ridley's up smash is. Uh, yeah, that's the bear animation. I guess the hitbox didn't come out fast enough. Alright, why did this situation occur though? Let's see what happened. Okay, they're both blocking. They both dropped their shield about the same time, it looks like. Right. I don't know. That's very unfortunate. I, I am not sure how fast really Zell Smash is, so I... This is weird. Because, like, he... Me, Ace Dick, kind of, like, have the right idea here. But he just really beat him to the, to the punch. I thought he was gonna jump out of shield or something, which says I'll smash out of shield when they're both shielding. I guess he assumed that me Ace would jump out of shield. I don't know. I I'm not sure the frame date of his smash, so this is something I I'm a bit unsure of. The eye away. Oh, he's trying to. Okay. Don't jump. Rush at him, see. He he got hit twice trying to get out the corner. So now the Ridley's like, okay, he's probably gonna try to like run towards me or something. Which he caught. No! He that could have been bad for him. Luckily he was able to size that, but that don't don't do that. Okay. Too close. Yep, so I said he's too close. Don't oh don't nah not now not the time to be fair like that. I know you gotta kill him, but no. Nah. Because his, his fair and there, they just gonna snuff out that, that fair of his. Mute mute ace cannot be fair right now. Like I know he gotta end this, but yeah, see? Again, you don't toss turn up down at, at Ridley. It's not gonna help. Alright. Now, this is me right now. Get baby hits. 
right now fair i i wouldn't be doing fair as much i wouldn't try to jump at him with fair no i would just turn up hit and run turn up hit some catch it and um you know just play around with it touch his shield once and then just block and just rest repeat just get your baby down right now i wouldn't be trying to go for any big combos or anything like that baby damage and dip and stay on the ground that's what i would be doing right now let's see what happens here man he's going in the air see he put himself in a bad spot because now he has to land this is bad this is bad so really he could just stay around his landing zone and if mute ace does anything aggressive he's gonna get hit but the really doesn't right he it should be getting hit if he does anything aggressive. But either way, this is a bad spot. He put himself in the air. This is bad. And burning your float like that, again, people do that because they want you to chase them so they could just move out the way. Really doesn't have to chase. And if people don't fall for that, the P player, they put in a bad spot because now they have to land. Like, this is fake. It's only real when the opponent decides to, like, try to go up there and hit them challenge. Which, depending on if the opponent knows how long the, the player is going to be floating or where they're going to go, the opponent can actually go out there and hit them. They could just jump up and hit them. But either way, they don't have to challenge that. See, like, he, he tried to hit him there. He should have just up aired. Like, uh, an up air would have worked right here. If really would have jumped an up air, it would have worked. He's, he just has to go for fair. Like I said, people can hit you. The, floating like that, this is fake. And this is like what a lot of players, um, they hold for. Like the opponent chases them so they could just move out the way. And, you know, now they have a chance to like land or even punish. But really could have just up air. Like, again, guys, don't do not do this. This is bad. It is fake. Mew Ace could have got blown off of that. There you go, block. Okay, he's slowly bringing it back. Nice. Easy. Easy. Okay, okay. No, beautiful. Okay, th this was good. But he decided to go for another attack. Chasing him. This was good. You saw how he jumped towards him? And then he just moved out the way? This was good. Now he has him in the corner. But he decided to go at him with this. No! 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 He should have just kept moving. Kept moving, keeping near the ledge. See how he tries to get out. Now look, he's out the corner. And he's in the corner and he just killed himself. Oh my god! Ugh. Why do you Peach players do this to me? Peach and Daisy players. Why? Oh my god! Alright. So looking looking at this set here I can say that I didn't really see anything that Mute Ace couldn't handle. He was just when he touched really shield, he kept doing too much and really again they just go nair. So if the player is like nairing and Mute Ace majority type kept getting hit. The time when he touched his shield and he blocked, really with Nair, and he was safe. And uh, he, he punished him a few times here. So he needs to stop touching his shield more than once. And just let really Nair bear out his shield and then punish him for it. Let him do that. Stop being in the air a lot because it's time he just jump in the air when it's like not even necessary just use grounded movement which i didn't see a lot of and i I'm, don't know why maybe he's afraid of the the side b or, or the fireballs but if you do it at the right range you can react to it other than that he could have just been moving around since he's a bit too slow he's in the air floating in certain situations where it's like no and he ended up getting kicked so there's that also blocking near the ledge to stop blocking the other legs he, he's done that a few times in um other matches i've seen with him like don't don't block near the ledge it's, it's not good you, you really don't get much and against a character like really you just gonna get snatched um there is that the 
say waiting a bit more when he tossed a turn up, like when he tossed it up or had to toss it down to hit really his uh, up B, which again, you're not, turn ups is not going to hit really out of his up B. His wings are like intangible. You're not, it's not going to work. So just hold on to it. There's no point in tossing it down. If you're going to try to hit Ridley while he's like rising and grabbing the ledge, um, Z drop it. Or if the up B, the hit back to the up B goes a bit past the ledge, it's going to be hard to like Z drop it because the up B is just going to eat the turn up. So wait for him to grab the ledge and then Z drop on him if you think he's going to hang on for too long. Or just play it safe. Just let him get up. Stand a few feet away from the ledge. Have a turn up in your hand. If he tries to snatch you, you can just move out the way, punish with a turn up. If he jumps or does anything off the ledge, anything aggressive, you can punish. If he doesn't do anything aggressive, if he's jumping, probably go under him, toss the turn up upwards. Or just let him land. He got to land near the corner. He's in the corner. You got a turn up in your hand. He's still at your mercy. He does anything aggressive. Again, you're good. You're keeping control. You're being safe. You're not committing too hard. But there was a certain time where me AT was doing that and you know it just he just ended up getting hit. So overall watching this set, I didn't see anything like that was like holy crap, um this is ridiculous. He can't handle it. It's uh it, it looks hard, like no. Like me AT he, he could have won if he just not did any of the stuff that I mentioned throughout this whole set so yeah though also that I pointed out that that's why he lost if he not done any of that and also move around a bit more in this match he was like slow um uh, wouldn't be fine but yeah, there you go that's the analysis so next time we're gonna see um we're gonna look at this really versus Ling Ling which I haven't watched Ling Ling in a while so I'm not too sure on how he plays. I'm not sure if he uh, if he plays the same way as he does as he did like the last time I watched him, which was like what maybe close to a year ago, something like that. But yeah, I'm not sure how he currently plays now. So we're, we're gonna check that out and um, see what went down. So hope you guys enjoyed this analysis. You learned something, and I will see you in the next video. Until next time, my friends. Take care. Bye-bye.